Hello fashion sewers and welcome to FSB TV. I'm Colleen Geely and coming up I'm going to demonstrate how to recycle an old blazer by removing the sleeves. Here is the blazer before I did the refashion and here's the blazer after the refashion and as you can see I've belted it in and teamed it up with a scarf and a crossover bag. So what you're going to need for this project is a seam ripper, make sure it's sharp or a new one and if you don't know how to use one click on this video tutorial, small scissors for cutting those threads, straight pins, a hand sewing needle, basting thread and also a suitable thread for your project. Here I have my men's blazer with one sleeve and on the opposite end I've removed the sleeve. So there we have a beautifully finished off jacket or blazer without the sleeve. Now here's a tip, whenever you're removing sleeves from a garment, always start from the underarm so that if you have any mistakes they are going to be hidden. So you're going to get a seam ripper and we're going to place it into the seam of the armhole between the sleeve and the jacket and just put it in like so, no pressure just yet and then gently start to you're going to hear a popping sound you can hear you can hear the threads are being cut so i'm going to keep on doing this all the way around until the sleeve is no longer attached to the jacket or blazer i've now removed the sleeve from the blazer and i'm now in the process of removing the lining to the sleeve so i'm just going gently just removing cutting away the thread until it's no longer part of the jacket, just this little bit to go. And now the sleeve is removed from the blazer. The thing to bear in mind when doing a recycle project is that the seam allowance would have been graded, so you're working with less seam allowance, that is. So, and, and also it tends to go back on itself and you want to take control of that, so what you need to do then is get the seam allowance and bring it over the shoulder area or the shoulder pad and pin it into place because we're going to hand stitch that. And it's important you do that because it will just try and find its original placement and when you're doing a refashion you don't want that to happen, you want to have control. So just pin that all the way around until the shoulder pad is covered as much as possible. Right, I've now pinned the seam into the area of the blazer armhole. Um, you can base that if you wish. I haven't um, at this stage because I'm going to do the herringbone stitch and click the link for a video tutorial on how to do that. Now here is the shoulder seam and I started from this point here. Now just work with your blazer if you need less or if you need more then it will be a case of turning and making sure you've got that control that this seam stays within the armhole itself and I'm ending it to roughly about there. Now I'm happy with the fact that my seam allowance is well tucked inside. I'm now attaching the lining so I'm going to just turn it over the seam allowance and judging by the stitching you may be able to go a little bit further but not too much remember it is a refashion project and you don't want to distort the jacket at all so I'm matching up the seam allowances and then I'm going to pin and then I'm going to continue doing that all the way around I will give you a little tip if you may find because uh, you are full of surprises when you actually open up garments and find out how they actually manufactured that if there is too much fullness around the uh, the top of the sleeve put that fullness in the underarm because you don't want that wavy effect at the shoulder point so just remember to hide things at the underarm. I've now pinned and basted 
into position as you can see the lining and we're talking millimeters away from the edge of the armhole here there's a little bit of gathering that is happening on the underarm and the next thing I'm going to be doing is the slip stitch I'm now ready for my second hand stitching for this project it's going to be the slip stitch and I advise to keep it very small the reason why because you get greater control of the arm shape staying in the position that it originally was so keep those stitches really small I've now finished my hand sewing my slip stitching so I'll just set that off you can now see we have our blazer without sleeves all that is required is for me to remove the basting stitch from it and remove all that and then I'm going to give it a really good press and that is your blazer without sleeves if you're new to the channel or you haven't already subscribed hit the button I'd love to see your projects on my Facebook page and you find the links in the description below also you can follow me on Instagram and I will see you next time